For our last trip, we decided to chase the Templar line further west and we headed out to the town of Trebon. Trebon was established around the middle of the 12th century and was already fortified around 1300. It's a very historical town and the Rosenberg family owned that part of the country for some considerable time. It's also famous as the place that John D and Edward Kelly held camp for a while and held a number of seances and conducted alchemical experiments. We headed out there looking for the Templar line, which we did find, but we found two other pairs of Type 4 energy lines as well. One going north-south and another one going northwest-southeast. I strongly suspect that the north-south line heads towards Yindrikov Raditz where it forms a vortex with the Templar line at the church there. It's also tempting to believe that the other line is also the line that I found when I went out looking for a Type 4 energy line for Rory Duff, and I'll have to prove that at some point in the future in order to make that stick. Anyway, the north-south line we mapped as far as Clum, ou Trebon, and there we found at the top of the hill a magnificent church. Now in much of the work that we've done so far, Ever and I have discovered that there seems to be a pattern of churches on hilltops with Stations of the Cross and a pilgrimage aspect, probably Marian, to them and vortexes on these Type 4 energy lines. So as we approach this particular church, it was with some excitement that we began to note the Stations of the Cross running up the hill to the church, the fact that the church sat on the highest point in the area, and when we got there we discovered that it was in fact a church of significant pilgrimage as well. It also is on a crossing of the two energy lines in that north-south alignment that we were mapping. The energies were considerable and we sat in the sunshine meditating for some considerable time before further investigating the church itself. The first mention of Clum as a town itself is in 1399. This church is the Church of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary and it was built quite late on between 1737 and 1745 in Baroque style. It is, as I said, a pilgrimage site. It is also the site of a purported miracle involving the Virgin Mary herself. The builder, Count Frantisek, suggests that he was saved by the Virgin Mary from falling masonry on this site and therefore built the church in order to honour his saviour. The church foundations rest on the local rock, which is plainly visible and you will see in some of the video that we shot that day. We strongly suspected that other buildings have been situated on this site. Indeed, it is thought that a fortress may have stood there in times gone past. We also believe that we felt a pagan aspect to this site and we strongly believe that this hilltop has been used for worship of various kinds, we would suggest sun worship, through human history. We spent some time dowsing the lines in and out of both sides of the building to confirm that indeed they do cross within the church. There was a service going on in the church at the time and so we felt like we wouldn't be able to go in, but eventually we did and the energies within the church were also very, very beautiful. Along with the energies, we also started to notice some strange things, like this guy's heart, which seems to be a giant sun. He's situated at the top of the Stations of the Cross, which go up that hill. And these are statues of various saints and religious figures, with various items picked out. Here's a flame, for example, on this particular saint. Also notice the spirals on the building. For me, those also hint 
at the vortex within the church. Inside the church, there is some interesting artwork and some very unusual features as well. Notice above the altar, a window filled in with something coloured like the sun, so that passing sunlight would indeed resemble the sun. And notice the painting on the ceiling with the strange beams of sunlight hitting the ground. When we'd first arrived at the church, Eva took this photograph, which, when she showed me it, had these strong beams of sunlight hitting the church. And I pointed out to her, immediately having been inside the church, the painting showing something very, very similar. The pulpit shows the devil tempting Christ, and it also shows a symbol that looks like the pagan Slavic god Veles. Then there was that picture with the eye in the triangle in the church. Pretty strange, really. To us, the church felt like a temple of the sun. It was a beautiful sunny day. There seemed to be solar imagery within the church itself. The photograph that ever captured also tended to suggest solar power. And we began to think about this as a vortex and a temple of the sun. So this place seemed to us to be almost like the copybook version of a Czech Type 4 energy line vortex hijacked by the Christian Church with its stations of the cross and Marian attribution and a site of pilgrimage because of the energies. But to us, like I said, it had this strong solar type energy and imagery that suggested to us something quite special and quite different.